is up guys it's charlotte here and today we're back for another video one sec as i sort out my lighting as i forgot to turn on the light now the light's on we can begin doing our aquabeads i'm making aquabeads again today so i can show you how to remove your designs and i might show you my other design that i made in the other episode then i'll just be doing some talking with you so let's get started straight away. In this video you won't need your aquabeads, but you'll need your design if you followed me in the other episode. If you didn't, no problem because I'll tell you the name of it in the description. So let's get started. I've cleared a space for me to record and enough room for me to work on my design. I made this this morning so it should be dry. So what we're going to do is you're going to push your finger gently like against every single corner to make sure every bit is dry. If it starts to wobble, respray and wait a bit longer and then follow the rest of the instructions. Then, once all the edges are peeled off, you just slowly, slowly remove from the first corner you started on. Then voila, it's gone. How simple is that? Now you have your very own aquabid design. If yours just starts to bend, put it under a heavy book or a heavy box. You should flatten it out. Now from yesterday, this is it, the one that I made. I couldn't really show you in the episode how to do it because it wouldn't have dried quick enough. And I don't think you wanted to see maybe an hour and 20 minutes of me making aquabid. Because it has to dry for quite a long time. But another one I made without the instructions was this awesome one. I found this so uh, colourful and bright and I didn't follow the instructions. I left this overnight which I thought was easier and now it's sturdier than all my rest. I find it easier to peel off, I found it easier to peel off and control when, it, when I was taking it off and it's more hard in the centre so like I can't feel any like orbs that are wobbling seeing as on this one the dolphin's tail is very fragile but this is very sturdy as I left it overnight to dry and I think the longer you leave it the better and, but now I have some really awesome coasters to use this one's quite smaller but you know yeah so that should be the end of the video, but I'm going on to like the talking part of this episode. If you don't want to hear me talking, then just click off this video and yeah, grab. Oh god. So now in this part of the video, I'm going to be talking about different collections that I've made. I've made so many little special collections that I can't, I can barely count how many I've got. I've got a full box full of them. How many do you have? If you'd like to see me do more little pet shop videos, put it down in the comments. Also, if there's any video ideas of little pet shops you want to see, put it down in the comments as well. Like maybe blind bag openings, stuff like that. As well as a DIY channel, I thought this could also be a gaming channel and also maybe a toy channel for younger viewers. For younger viewers, I maybe will be showing toy openings and maybe if I get sponsored by any brands I could use some of their maybe like littlest pet shop blind bags and I'll be opening them on camera to try and make my content suitable for younger viewers that can't get games that I can say like Terraria, Terraria and stuff like that and The Sims so I'm going to also make this a young children channel so anybody can really watch my videos <clears throat> so that's why i'm not going to do the most complicated things but i might also have two channels so then i can have an older channel and then the younger video channel which i find will be so fun to make that many videos now it's raining tacos for some reason in this video i thought i get myself wet Spray, spray, spray. Okay. Now it looks like I've been sweating behind the scenes. Oh my god, it's so wet. Oh my god. 
Everybody back up, everybody back up. Behind the scenes of Charlotte's videos. Yay. That is not how you do behind the scenes. Look, you can see my lamp and everything. Oh my way. Okay. Guess who's back? Oh my god. So, I'm also going to be doing shopkin viewing. And I also have this new art set. Well, it's not new, it's very old. A new art... Why do I get an old art set that I haven't yet to use? I've opened it once, had a little test ago, and it's so fun to create. Maybe if you want to see that, get hit five likes on this video, and I'll be able to get you that video. Let's do this. If there's also anything else you want to see, put it down in the comments. I love you. Uh, why did I just say I love you? I do love all the viewers that watch my videos so, and thank for all the love and support you're giving. If you want to help grow this channel further, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video for DIY, for more DIY and, and, toy, oh, and toy openings. Goodbye.